So, John, about the laptop. Um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Catwoman and I are... What we have is a little tangled up. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be that tangled up with Harley. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? Learning who you are is a process. People are always changing. <laughs> I've done things recently that I never thought I'd do, but here we are. I guess you're right. We're constantly evolving. I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. The prison break. Hey, that's who you really are? You shouldn't suppress it. But I I'm quite scrambled. Hey, that's what I like about you. And I bet that's what Harley will like, too. How does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. Bane is... Such a loser. Yeah? What are you gonna do to her? Snuff out his light. I don't know what she would say. <laughs> yeah, I'd kill for some front row seats to that. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Why you love me? What do you think? Pretty good, right? Okay, so you're coming off just a little bit desperate. And women like that? No, none. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham, Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny! Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt 
like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. John, never, ever say that to her. You've exposed your underbelly. She'll hate that. Harley feels like the type of person who needs someone who can take the reins. Oh, that makes sense. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. <laughs> okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? Happy now? <laughs> Don't look so pleased with yourself. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. So what kept you? Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! The nerve on her! I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. 
But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Damn it, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Please, Joe. Don't. This is between you and me. I thought you were better than this, Batman. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you... You better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selina and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. I trust her. But can you trust her to do the right thing? You know what must be done. It's done, Al. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't, Batman. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in Spandex, or whatever my suit is. You can trust me. It's... it's my mustache. Your mustache? Waller ordered me to shave it. Gas? How dare she? It's a symbol of justice, like the little hammers judges use. You think I don't know that, the Batman? What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. 
John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Well, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on. Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less? Give it to you. But, uh, and, and, this is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocents, then I stop her. Well, that's... you really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? But if I get the laptop, uh, there is no score, so win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea. I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. I'm not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. Look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> you speak. But all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the Black Site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. Impressive science, Freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne is cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on! I, I slipped up! Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! 
No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you. I got mouths to feed. Hey! When the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the wolves to cover my ass, right? Oh, 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 a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! Ah! Merely plugging the leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It. <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca. You just killed one. I only shot him. Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells. And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudin? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> Problem, and I want to help. You time out. And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce. This here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Think hard. Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. 
Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. Glad I could be of help. Well, let's just say that I owe you one. Good. Because I need a favor. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. Yeah, it does. That's the night I saved your life. First time I saw you. We had something then. Same as we do now. A give and a take. <laughs> you want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Maybe I liked it once. But the bad girl act... It's getting old. And your good boy act is so fresh. Well, have a good night. Selena. Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddler's like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Maybe we could actually work together for once. In the past, there was a chance for something more between us. You missed it. And it seemed like, for a moment at least, you wanted more than that. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure. Really. 
This has always been professional. Let's keep it that way. Fine with me. So, I'd say it's time to find a black site, partner. We'll probably need our own supercomputer to get into his laptop. But something tells me you might know where to find one. Come home with me. What's at home? You'll see.